on this Juneteenth, Philadelphia DA Larry Krasner released a new report highlighting racial inequalities in the city's criminal justice system. That's right, Alicia is here to break this all down for us. The DA is now linking these inequities to the enslavement of black people in the U.S. and other injustices that date all the way back for centuries. Yeah, and today he showed up with some numbers, breaking down this report from his analytics lab at Eastern State Penitentiary in Fairmount. He says the numbers show there's persistent over-policing, over-prosecution, over-incarceration, and over-supervision of black and brown people right here in Philadelphia. When you have a system where over 30 people have been exonerated, almost all of them truly innocent, even though they spent decades in jail, when you have a system where nearly all of those people are black and brown, then maybe you need science to solve crimes. Mm -hmm. Because where there are not facts, there is racism. I can say, I see Jerome Loach was formerly incarcerated and exonerated. He shared his story today, having served over a decade in prison. A few years ago, he got a job at Eastern State Penitentiary, where he is now a supervisor. In order for us to succeed as a whole, you've got to allow those who have been uh, impacted to have a seat at the table, okay? You can't fix something thinking that you can read a book, you know, and can solve our problems. You've got to allow us to sit at the table. Today, this group talked about the effects of the unrest that followed the death of George Floyd and the work they say that still needs to be done three years later. Krasner also today saying these are just numbers. This is not a solution to the problem. It's up to the community, local leaders and officials to do the work. Yeah, such an important conversation, Alicia. Thank you.